This is just a really quick video on uh, exchanging your relics for augments. It's probably one of the best uses of, of relics that I've found anyways. Uh, and so there's two flavors of it. There's the heroic flavor, which are either level 12 or 16. And then there's the epic flavor, which is 20 and 24. So we're going to have a level 21 gear set. So we're going to be very interested in this level 20. We don't have these match yet. But um, the same way that you get materials for... Uh, heroic quests and wilderness chests you get this you get them also for epic so uh, we'll be taking you know we'll be taking a look at these to upgrade our our gear from uh, keep on the borderlands but we also can get some heroic augments if we, we wish the level 12 versions cost three of each and you can see I have 12 6 and 12 just coincidence that it's a uh, even number like that so that would allow me to get two of these level 12 augments. And you can get plus four to stats, um, some damage, one to four basically. Uh, the blue ones are typically your defense, resistance, def um, this is sheltering, this is false life, that's one of the better ones. Good luck. I think I purchased one from the auction from the auction house a while back. I probably didn't need to. I didn't realize that was available here. And then um, resists, which we you know we don't need. Power that gives you spell points. Proof against poison. I question if it even works. I would never get that one. Same with proof against disease. Um, you know. So, uh, but any other thing that you can get from here is spell power for. Devotion. So you want to look for the Devotion one that would give you spell power. So here's level 12 and if we look at level 16 It's much the same except plus five stats and they cost six so I'd be able to get one of these right now At level 16 and you want to be careful like I, you don't want to put a level 16 augment in a, a level 7 item because or a level 8 item uh, because then, then it changes the minimum level, the level of that item to match the augment. So you want to be careful about where you put it and make sure that you don't uh, next life put yourself in a situation where you can't, you know, you can't uh, use the item. So a little more spell power, 78 for the for the devotion. One d6 for the damage. And then, you know, your, your stats on natural armor, protection. These two give you armor class bonuses. I'm not sure how much of a difference it would make, but if you had both of these slots, it would give you plus 10 armor class, which in theory would give you some defensive benefits. But armor class is a funny thing, and it's really hard to, it's really hard to tell what, like, what is actually effective there. Um, and then resistance, this, this uh, would give you a bonus to saves. Uh, this is sheltering, magical and physical. And then this is hit points, plus 25 hit points. And then the resists are 25 instead of 20, 100 spell points. And then again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go with these uh, proof of poison and proof of disease. I've, I've tried them before. I don't believe that they actually work. And then these, these topazes will are for spellcasters. They will give you plus one to spellcasting. So yeah, maybe useful in the future, but not for now. And of course, the other option is always just banking these until you really need an augment. But unlike a lot of the other augment vendors, you know, that give you like a random augment, you get to pick here, so it's really great. Unfortunately, Death Block, which is a yellow augment, is not available here. Uh, I would love it if it was. It's a level 12 augment. I've checked, you know, and, and not been able to find it. We can get it from another pl place, but it's diff a little more difficult than this. So um, uh, it's a good way if you have a named item. Uh, or a random item that has slots in it. It's a good way to kind of fill out and get some of the pieces that you're missing is by getting these augments. And this is a huge level range, all the way from 12 to 24. And again, the the you know the 20 and 24 are going to be from the quest, which you could run you know you could run those on normal at lower lower epic levels to get those. Uh, but you could also get them from the wilderness chests chests in the epic uh, wilderness. So that's just a quick. Uh, a quick rundown of the augment turn-ins or the, the, the relic turn-ins for augments in Giant Hole Tour.